For years now, people were wondering, but do they come in black? And yes, they do now. This is the Noctua NHD15 Chrome X Black CPU cooler. The best of the best, the top of the line CPU cooler. It just can't get any better than this. Right out of the box, you get more boxes. Yeah, it's Inception, but Noctua is so user-friendly and they point out on the box itself which parts are used for which CPU, so you don't need to read any manuals if you do not want to, but I strongly suggest you do. So you get here which mounting accessories are used where and everything inside is neatly packaged and color organized, so there is no chance for a mistake. You get all the necessary cables for speed reduction if you wish to run them at a lower speed, but anyhow they are so quiet that there is no need and you also get this Y splitter cable so you can use both of the fans on one fan header. There is of course their NTH1 thermal paste, great performer I might add, and a screwdriver and of course the cute owl case badge. You also get one more pair of fan clips if you wish to install a third fan, but seriously that would be an overkill as the cooler itself is already an overkill. Seriously, look at this beast, completely covered in stealth black color, looking so sleek and nice with just the base in near mirror nickel plated finish. Bear in mind that you would need a pretty large case as this cooler is seriously tall, coming at 165mm without fans, and they do protrude a little bit if your RAM sticks are not low profile, so you would need one fan slightly positioned a bit higher. So cases of at least 20cm wide are recommended. Dimensions of the cooler itself are 165mm by 150mm by 161mm and a hefty 1.3 kilos of weight with both fans attached. Regarding the mentioned fans, they are the NFA15 PWM models, rated up to 1500 RPMs, with included speed reduction cables if you wish to run them at 1000 RPM, but they are insanely quiet even at 1500 RPM. At the base of the cooler runs 6 large 8mm heat pipes, completely covered in matte black color as the heatsink fins, and the plate itself is nickel plated with near mirror finish. Fins are designed in such a way that there is a clearance on both sides for even a large RAM sticks, up to 64mm of clearance. But this is for the heatsink itself, on the both sides, but bear in mind that fans has to be mounted somewhere and if you have taller RAM sticks, fans might protrude on the upper side of the heatsink and that's why I said that you need a wider case. So as you saw before, mounting is fairly easy, Noctua has best mounting solutions, I am using AM4 mounting here, so pretty simple, remove the stock fan holders, place grey spacers used for the AM4 socket and put the bracket on top of them. Screw them in and you are ready to go. Place the cooler on top, fasten two screws all the way to the end, do not worry about over tightening as they come with spring and they stop once fully tightened to the end. And here you can see what I was talking about taller RAM sticks. This is where I had to move the front fan a bit upper as it overhangs the RAM sticks and covering them completely. So the heatsink in fact does not have the clearance for tall sticks on both sides if you're using a board with a quad channel maybe, but fans need to be positioned higher in that case. So short RAM sticks such as Corsair LPX series are welcome here. I don't mind this as my case has enough clearance for the placement of the fan as is.
Now let's talk a bit about the performance here. This is indeed a monster cooler, both in size and in performance. It easily beats any AIO you throw at it. It might not look as nice as an AIO pump, but, but this one is here to do the job, not to look nice. Although this one looks nice. It is super quiet even at higher loads of the CPU when fans ramp up to 1500 RPM, but for the test I am using the ADA64 full load with CPU, FPU, cache and memory stress tests, as well as few games just to see how it stacks up in real world usage. These stress tests will load CPU beyond real world scenarios, but I wanted to include them so we can see how good it can handle the heat. So this is that no compromise cooling that Noctua offers and now it comes in black color as well. You can also get spare set of colorful anti-vibration rubber mounts for the fans as well as heatsink covers with optional color inserts to further customize your cooler to match the overall aesthetics of your build. It's not cheap, but again this is cheaper than most AAOs out there and it performs a mile better than them. It's around 90 euros or 19 dollars, depends where you are, but as I said, you get a premium product with premium cooling performance for that money. I would like to thank Noctua for being so kind and generous to send this cooler for review and also this other little monster of a cooler as well. This is the NHU-12A and this one unfortunately does not come in black yet, but it might in the future. Stay tuned for next week's video to see how this one performs as it has a smaller footprint than D15 but offers near or exact cooling performance. So subscribe for more, like, share and I'll be here next week to show you everything about this cooler as well. Bye bye.